Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Moderator waiting on the moderator inside. Missionary Mr. Lamborn. Shall we bless the Lord, everyone? Hallelujah. Just want to ask everyone to stand. We are about to proceed in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
not an easy time. Praise God for you. And I know and I pray that the Lord, He will give you strength. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. At this time, we'll be going to our opening hymn, Oh, what a sunrise. Praise God.
I want to go to heaven. Praise God. Let me see the hands of those who want to go to heaven.
remember him as a smiling face, as someone who stayed for many years has, and has now graduated from a school of life. Children and grandchildren, family and friends, you will all miss him. You will miss his hugs and his calls, but rest assured, he's at a better place. Go rest high, Mr. Clark, for your work on earth is done. Sleep in your perpetual peace, sir. God be with you all. From Miss Nurse Morris. Hello, oh, everyone. Shall we worship the Lord, everyone? Hallelujah. My hope is big and my fingers.
When it comes to peer time, this one I have time on. They always call me, they have a dog they call it, Moto. And every Saturday morning they would call me, come back where you're going to Mount Abbey. I'm going to, um, see that it's based on a use of a piece of land. And we go here and we pick up those right there and it's pink Saturday and we heat your spirit. This man was a wonderful person. When you hear about shooting bird, it was this man. Nobody can shoot the bird at this man's shoulder. And something happened about three years ago, I was coming from a farm. And he said, Pastor, this is, you know what? If I should pass, if I should die, I want you to bear me. And say something great about me. Why did he say that the only thing that come to me, they the life you live. And I'm honored to be here. Amen. In this funeral service. Amen. Father in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning, family. It's really an honor for me to be here to bring greetings. And therefore, my own family. So, does this man was more closer to my father when he would come to Christians to buy material? So, that is closer to my father than me. But what a wonderful man he was. But today, I want to bring greetings to you on behalf of the People's National Party, a party that served, uh, served well. And serve the pride. He was never afraid to let you know that he was a supporter and he was a comrade. And because of that, I was asked by my party to make sure that you attend comrade class funeral and bring greetings on behalf of our comrade leader, Mark Golden, and our constituency. Chairperson, Dr. Foster. He served us well. And because of that, I want to say to the family, the class family, thank you for lending us to us, lending him to us. Many times I know you prefer to have him helping you with homework in any other legal way that he could. Most times, mommy will be cook, and when you're waiting on him to come home for dinner, he was so great talking politics or on some political mission. I will be the first person since the seventies that will be representing the PNP and not having the supply alone. And it never will be serious because I know that the one subdivision will never be the same. So I'm here with, we will always be a part of the family. And I wish you well. May God bless you. And thank you for having me. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. We can tell of the person that, as I call him, Master Edsman was. Bless the name of Jesus. To have somebody from the People's National Party to be representing that speaks volume. Praise God and for Nurse Morris to send that wonderful tribute. How many funerals have you attended at a nurse in a tribute like that? For me, not many. And I know the spirit that Thomas Desmond had. He was, even though he was much older than I am, he was a very respectful person. I don't know about you, but he respected me even though I was much younger. Whenever I am in the community and he passes, first time you know, before my name changed and everything, he always called me Miss June. That is my mother's name. So every time he called me, he said, Miss June or Auntie June, how are you doing? Everything all right? That is it. And when I got married, he always said, Sister Longmore, Sister Longmore, everywhere he sees me, Sister Longmore. And I have never, I've grown up in this community. Nearly 40 years, and I've never heard anything bad about this man. Never, never heard anything bad about this man. He was so quiet, and I pray that he's so 
school in Ukraine, where it's at this time we'll be having the second lesson coming to us from Sir First Corinthian, read by Jamoy Person in my life, 
the one who taught me the true meaning of love. You express your love not, not with mere words, but in actions, not just towards your children, grandchildren, and, and, and extended family members, but towards everyone you came in contact with. I'm so nervous, I'm sorry. And see where you gave your last to those who were in need. That's love in action. I remember times when I visited you with my immediate family or friends. And one of the first questions you would ask, what do you want to drink or eat? There are never a time when you visited New Kingston without taking a bag of goodies for me, which was also enough to share with others. Due to the wealth of love exhibited by you, I have learned how to love others and to show it not only in words, but in action. That you were the kind of person I could talk to about anything. You were very encouraging and supporting, and your sound words of advice brought me comfort and reassurance. Daddy, I miss your phone calls, and how at the end of each conversation, you would ask the same question. Marsha, how you see us? Send a change to me now. <laughs> Oftentimes when I call you, I call you to hear what names you are going to call me. Be it my baby, my princess, my pretty daughter, Marsha, Desreen, which I never told how especially it made me feel. Now that you are no longer here, I know that my life will not be the same without you. During your time of illness, I prayed for you to be healed, but healing was not in God's plan. Upon hearing the news of your passing, my heart shattered into a million pieces, and I am in pain. The sort of pain that has taken a grip on me and determined to suffocate me. This is by far the most devastating art ripping and life altering incident that I have ever experienced. I am aware that the heartbreak of losing you may never be mended, but with God I know all things are possible and whatever, whatever he does is well done. My greatest fear has always been how would I be able to navigate this life without you? But as much as I love you and would love for you to be here, I know that God loves you more and has delivered you from your pain and sickness. I am trusting God to give me comfort and strength as I go from day to day. I will remain prayerful, grateful, and comforted knowing how much you positively impacted my life, our family, and the lives of so many others. As I continue to go through this journey of life, I will cherish the time spent with you, and the memories of you will always be in my heart. I will meditate on the written word of God, Revelation 21, 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Love you, Daddy, my father, my mentor, Rest in peace and perpetual life shine down on you. From Marsha Clark Joshua, daughter.
and everything just went by so quick because time never feels enough when one leaves. But we all hugged, laughed, and said our goodbyes. And in that moment, I remember that we were so happy seeing how love binded us together. My uncle was just a family man, and we loved him for it. We have shared so many experiences, moments of time together over the years, which I can never personally put down on paper. We've laughed together, cried together, got angry together, but regardless, it was just on to that point. We loved and appreciated his qualities. Sorry for the calling as well. You know, if there was any time someone in the family was in trouble or somebody chose to trouble somebody in the family, you'd hear Uncle Decker say, I'm grown and young to make gun. In which we all knew he didn't have a weapon. But he found comfort in saying it, which showed us that if he could protect us with his life, he would do it in any situation. And to be honest, that is a quality you don't find in many these days. Personally, for me, I suppose, uh, while I was in London, before Uncle passed, Mom told me she was going to go see Uncle Decker, check up on him to see how he was doing, spend a bit of time with him. I told her not to leave without letting me see him. I wanted to see with him. While she was there, she FaceTimed me and I got to see Uncle. And I remember looking at him and a lot had changed. But in that moment, he still had life in his eyes. And we talked for about 10 minutes, me just checking up, asking questions, asking how he was doing, and telling him not to worry, and that regardless of what would happen, everything was going to be okay. Just let dogs do what they can. I remember he said to me he wasn't worrying, but trusting God, in which I replied, Uncle, no better option than they. Doctors then started their rounds and he had to go. And before placing his mask back on his face, he said to me, Take care of yourself, my niece. A member said, Your uncle loved it. In which I replied, Uncle, member said, Your niece loved it. And that I was praying for him. And so in this moment, I am content that I got to speak with him. And our last conversation, we got to remind each other of how much we love each other. And so today, as we lay Uncle Decker to rest, we love you, Uncle Decker. And that's why we're all here. You will truly be missed. May angels of sweet rest lead you into paradise. And may God's perpetual light shine on you. And may you rest in eternal peace. Thank you.
the right way, when I want to chat, and he's like, come on, come on, come He got to me, so when he come down, he said, can I tell you this actually a cup of ice? So, we planted it on me, Jeffrey, Greg, and Louie. We planted it on the ice, and I run down to Marshall School, and he said, go up down and down, and he said, oh,
Jesus at this time will be collecting your offering in the name of Jesus for the choir. They will be ministering for the collecting of the offering in the name of Jesus. Praise God. After the choir minister, I'm going to ask Bishop Williams to be praying for the collecting of the offering. Praise God. Minister Gordon, Evangelist Gordon.
Please remain standing in Jesus' name. There should be standing for the national office. We thank you, God, for the family, for the friends, and the loved ones. We have been given all our friends. We ask you the blessing of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 
the look. Say, say, phone come in from God and there is TikTok and this YouTube. And lot of young people are backside. They are joy, joy away by the devil to TikTok. Sometimes even in church you see them using their phone. Don't believe that this is by their hand. Young people, not the time to serve Jesus Christ.
when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, not to accept Jesus Christ. Because the evil day will come. It will come. And it is coming very sharp. Because signs of the time are everywhere. I was saying to somebody, the war, the war that is going on right now in Israel, between Israel and Hamas, it's a sign. God has foretold a sign of what will happen when he's near at hand. What are you waiting on? It's time for you to give your life to God. Don't die in your sin. Don't die in your sin and come to hell. No sin will be unpunished. I don't matter how you may reach. You may child, I don't matter how many much you have. The type of car you got, the bank account, that will not going to save you. Man can only be saved by repentance of their sin. Baptize in the name of Jesus. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And it don't stop there. You got to live a holy life. You got to live a sanctified life. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Oh God Almighty, I'm working my way up there. Because of the end of time when the Lord shall come, I want to hear, well done. Not want to hear, depart from me. Young people, it is time to serve the Lord before it's too late. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. When the sun or the lights of the moon, or the star be not darkened, and the cloud will turn after the rain, serving now before the moon and the, the, the cloud. When they get in, serving now, now is the time. Don't get. Oh, God Almighty God is going to be weeping and weeping and national things. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong man shall bow their burdens and the ground sees because they are few. And those that look out of the window, be down to The keepers of the house. Take up your heart to hit your son. You can't put it to your mouth. Ah, oh, God Almighty. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's when he made you want to come to serve God, but you're going to be too late. Now is the time to do it. My God Almighty, when the strong man bow, Lord Jesus, bow himself. Hallelujah. And they, 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 they grind a seed because they are few. Some people, when they grind a seed, they finish, take out them, and they put in fast. But did you know, no matter how the dent is good, and make that fast. As you get older, you can't fit in your mouth. You can't fit in your mouth. I want to keep them at all. Go serve them. Now is the time to serve him. Oh, God Almighty, when you look out of the window, I barely want to see anything if I don't have one glass Wait until you can see when you come on top of the Bible. You barely you can see it. Serve God now when you can see properly. Serve God now when you have the strength to do it. Do it Oh God. And the Lord shall be shut in the street. And when we saw the, 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 the sound of the grinder is low, and he shall rise up and in voice of the bird. The light on your bed and you hear one little bird come back. Take a day. Take a day. You come up bird into you. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. That's when you want to come to God. Oh, Jesus. Can you stand here, Lord? Time, time is now to serve God. Some young people, some elderly folks, take this into a Let me tell you something. If you don't accept God, you're going to find out mistake on the last day. Because every man will be judged for the deeds in which they have done. 
Just 
our program, he was severely attacked, and that was the end of his traveling. Uncle Desmond did not get his content, but he worked hard in the field. He was a proud man, one who never liked to receive an allowance, but do what he had to do to ensure that his household was well taken care of. Desmond was blessed with two children, Marshall Clark, who are here today, the first, and Everett Clark, the second. As these children grew older, they started to increase family, five grandchildren, and a grandchild. Desmond was the sixth child of his parents, only six children. Is well done. 
medical team did their best to make it comfortable and the family support was a nightmare again. Um, was discharged from the hospital on the 21st of February 2024 to spend time with his family. My sister Pauline went down two days after, gave him a bath, fed him, and by midnight that same day, he took sick again. Hebron called my sister Nicole. And when she looked at him, she instructed him to take him straight to the hospital. Because he was unresponsive, he had a stroke, and he had a seizure. The instruction was followed, and he was taken to the person doing the hospital once again. Desmond Clark, Uncle Desmond, Dapo was a happy person. Everyone followed Colleen's instruction and he was taken by the person Julius Spitzel. He lived two days and he succumbed to his illness on the 29th of February 2024. Desmond Clark, Dr. Uncle Desmond, I tell the person that he's my father, my uncle, was a happy person. And if I say to all of us today, as I believe you would, don't be saddened by his departure, but rejoice because he is now free, free from sickness, free from his pain, and free from the suffering. Therefore, Celebrate the happy life he lived and the precious memories that he left with us. Rest on, my uncle. Rest on. Sleep and take your rest. We love you. But the Lord loves you better. And because of that, he has delivered you out of your sickness. May his soul rest in peace and perpetual life.
forever. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 4 reminds us Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. These are words coming from our Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe it today. And so we are not mourning at those that have no hope. So we are going to be praying for you, family. But we know that God will give us strength. Because indeed, Psalm 46 also says, He is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy God, we come before your presence again, Lord, because we know your God, that beside you there is no other. We can't depend on you, Lord, for what you say, that will you do. You, God, offer us comfort. You are the comforter. Hallelujah. And so, Lord,
Amen and amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, I will ask him to meet her motto. I'm not sure if it's a minister to meet her motto. She will be coming. At this time, she will be joining the vote of thanks followed by our assistant pastor Dixon. He will be doing the instruction and the benedictions. Praise God. Growing up with my mom, that's how we 
brother, you know, the dad's money was always so close to us. And knowing so well to be our uncle, as everyone in the nation is one character, he says, how he was never leaving you, no matter how you resist, you better know you're getting that kiss, that tight hold. So that's how he was. And so I just want to say thank you to each and every one for. You know, celebrating is back with us and for sharing in this moment with us. Thank you.
step up fast, PNP money is the best No other party can ever contain Stepping it together, making it right As our economy starts to see the light
Okay, so you can choose. Okay, we're gonna ask that um, so we have to follow you here. Just carry three quarters. Call beer, call Get the three quarters we underneath. Be good.
Then when all of life is over, and the work and earth is done, say down the roll is called up yonder, yes, I'll be there. Oh, when the road is called up yonder, reading. Everything there is a season. A time to have a purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to walk with that which is in bondage. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stone and a time to gather stone together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast. A time to wrench and a time to sue. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to eat. A time of war and a time of peace. Ecclesiastic 3, 1, 2, 8. We gathered here to commit to rest the body of our loved ones and friends. Here in the form of one whose memories we shall cherish. Some of us have shared through these passing years a wonderful companionship uh, with our loved ones. Let us cherish the many memories that came to us at this time. And let each of us her purpose. Oh, bless the Lord Jesus. To see the Lord with all our hearts and to respond to the opportunity extended um, to us through his grace. The Lord is my light and my salvation, who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, who shall I be afraid? When we then beseech you that he receive not the grace of God in vain, for he said, I have heard thee in the time acceptable, and in the day of salvation, I have secured thee. Uh, behold now, is the acceptable time of the Lord. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he may be, while he is near. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Shall not the king of the king. Yes. Take him Amen. on the man. Amen. Get up. You can show on the right. Let <laughs> Let me go no way, man. Oh God, Come. Like you come now. May I may ask the female? Okay, there are some May I ask the female? In sheep. Eh? You will go ahead and do them here. Oh. Amen. Do their thing. 
Tommy. Oh, 
God bless you. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I think we have to take more time. Me. 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 Me.
Thank you. 